All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Steve Hawkins. I'm the creator of Imperia. Uh, I'm going to be recording a series of tutorial videos for you since the wiki is a little bit out of date, and I know we've had a lot of new people come on in the last several days. I just want to take a moment and say how excited I am uh, that so many people have gone to the blogs and, and have, have looked up Imperia. It's a game that's obviously very niche, and it's, it's a hobby game, but uh, it's very exciting to see so many people that, that have an interest in it and, and would enjoy games like this. It kind of gives me hope for the uh, strategy genre. All right, so this first video is going to be over um, the UI. It's going to be just a very quick overview. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game. And I do want to say also that if you're having questions or any technical issues with Imperia, uh, you can go to our forums. It's active. It's small community, but it's growing. The website is www.imperia5x.com. Uh, right now, it's just a forum. It will eventually become our main website. We're kind of working on getting that done. You can go there for uh, anything. It's a uh, got general forums, uh, 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 tech information. If you're having problems with the game, you can ask questions. I, again, it's a small community right now, but uh, we're hoping to grow it uh, as we go. All right, so we're creating the uh, galaxy right now, so we should have a new galaxy in just a few moments. So what I'm going to be doing is going over all the screens. I'm not going to be going into a great deal of detail. It's going to be more of a how to get here and what it does, uh, as opposed to explaining every little thing. Uh, I will be doing some other tutorials later that kind of go into more detail over what everything does uh, in the different functions. I'll be doing an edict tutorial, I'll be doing a character tutorial, and I'll be doing a uh, planet screen tutorial since those kind of each need their own um, explanation about how to do things. All right, so any moment now, we're going to have a new new uh, sector to, to govern. Um, hopefully everybody's been enjoying the game. I know it's quite a bit to take in. It's one reason we're doing these these videos. Um, so hopefully you, know, you can kind of understand a little bit more. All right. So here is our, this is what's called our astrography mode over here. You see it's highlighted. And this is our galaxy screen. Now you always have your top toolbar. This will always show in any screen you're in as well as the button bar down here. This is your galactic date. It's in months. So when you reach 10 months, a new year will start. This is your popular support among your entire empire. Uh, these are your continuum pools. Uh, this is your uh, pragmatic, I'm sorry, your nationalist pool, your pragmatic pool, your tyrannical pool. It shows the total amount and how much it's going up or down every turn. Uh, this is your continuum bar. This shows how uh, either nationalist or tyrannical you are. Uh, this is your admin and power buttons. Uh, the first number is your admin rating. It's basically how many actions you can take per turn. And the second number is your power rating. And that is, in this version that I'm showing you, it's actually a little bit newer version. It breaks it down on the tooltip by um, political power, military power, and popular power. And you can see that. Uh, this is your uh, treasury for your entire empire and trillions. And this is your cash flow. All right. To navigate in the screen, to zoom in and out, you'll use the mouse wheel on your mouse. Uh, to move around, you'll actually right-click and pan. You'll hold down the right mouse button and pan in the direction that you want to go. Now, uh, I will be implementing WASD support shortly, uh, so don't worry about that. All right, in order to look at a planet in more detail, simply hover the mouse over it. It will show the system information display. Uh, now, you can actually toggle that. If you hit I, you'll see the SID is inactive if you don't want to keep seeing it and you just want to get to the planet. So hit I again to put that back on. Now when you toggle the information display, it shows all the planets. Uh, it shows obviously the planets to the left. Uh, if there are armies on the planet, it shows the number. Um, it shows the uh, whether it's a capital or what type of planet it is, the planetary ADM population, and whether it's gone up or down in the last turn. Uh, green is good, red is bad. It shows the primary designation of the planet. It shows the Viceroy and the cash flow for the planet. All right. Uh, for a couple of hotkeys, there are several different sub-modes on the planet. In order to see the sector lines, hit S. Uh, that's a toggle. You can toggle those off or on. Uh, this right now where it's called mission sub-mode. This shows the distance that uh, you can uh, build star bases and exploration stations and logistical stations uh, from a planet. And this is how, uh, if you're not in range, you cannot do a stellar edict on a planet. All right. To go into colonization mode, hit C. This shows you how far your colonists, your people, are willing to travel to get to another planet if they're not happy where they're at. Now the trade mode, hit T. Uh, this shows you your system sector and imperial trade hubs. And we'll get into trade a little bit later. I actually have its own tutorial. But just for now, know that the uh, green is the imperial hub. There's only one. 
your uh, ye yellow are your sector hubs and your reds are your system hubs for trade. Now it, normally it takes off the sector lines uh, when you go into trade mode. Uh, you can turn those back on by hitting S. The reason that it does that is because eventually when trade starts you'll see lines back and forth showing uh, the different what's being traded to the different hubs. Alright, to turn everything off completely hit N for no sub mode and that turns off both the uh, circles and the sector lines. So we'll go back and hit M and we'll go ahead and add the lines so we're hitting M and S. Alright, to go to a, a system directly hover your mouse over, oh I forgot, to go to a planet directly without panning you can go right click and it will take you there. So you can right click on any planet and it will zoom straight to that planet. Alright, to go into a system directly simply left click on it and this will take you to the system display mode. Here you will see all your planets lined up here. There will be up to six planets in any uh, system. You'll have the sun over here obviously. Um, now this will show you the planet, the ownership, whether or not they're in the trade network. So if they're not in trade network it means they're not getting any uh, materials or food from the trade network and they will have to be self-sufficient. Down here is your top level system data. If you click on the bar, it will open up. This is one of the uh, uh, one thing about Imperia's UI is you, uh, focusing more on uh, windows that you use and don't use. Kind of like windows, uh, you can open and close them as needed for space. Uh, this has an overview of your system information. This is an overview of your sector information. This shows your system and sector governors. Any system edicts available and any system edicts that are currently pending. Here you can go directly to your uh, system or sector governors. Anytime you see yellow text in Imperia, that's another uh, common thing. Uh, you can either click for more information, uh, go to a menu, or hover for a tooltip. Alright, so to go to a planet directly, um, to get information about the planet, you can left click on it and it will open up the planet detail display, giving you more information about the planet. Um, and then to get out to no longer see that you right click and it will close that. To see a uncolonized you do the same thing. It will be a slightly different display um, but it's the same process. In order to see and go directly to a planet you have a couple of options. You can either open up the detail display and click the command nexus button or you can click the right mouse button over a planet and it will take you directly to the command nexus of the planet. Now if you have a widescreen uh, monitor, you will see the system bar. This will show you the different planets and you can simply left click on each planet and it will take you straight to that planet. It's a handy way to uh, navigate within the system. Uh, you will also see the uh, planet, or the, sorry, the, uh, the orbitals for that planet. Alright, so we're going to left click on it. Now, anytime you open up a command nexus, uh, all the windows are shut. Um, uh, we call this minimize mode, so in order to reduce clutter. So this is your astrographic data that shows you the information about the planet. And if the planet is occupied, this shows you the political data. This is where you get your admin, planet value, and uh, different ratings. Um, these are your viceroy, system, and sector governors if they are part of the chain. Again, in order to speak to them directly, you would click on the yellow text. Now here, these are your five tabs. This gives you more information about different type uh, parts of the planet. Demographics, economic, production, intel, and military. Uh, this number here shows your uh, net uh, gain from the planet. This shows your cash flow. This shows the production sectors, uh, manufacturing, agriculture, and science, and how big those sectors are. This shows your intel level, uh, domestic intel, uh, what you're at currently and what you're targeting. And this shows how many fleets and armies you have on the planet and above the planet. All right, so again, to click on, just simply left click on a tab to see more information. And to uh, get rid of it, you can left click on it again. Uh, you can also toggle directly between modes. You do not need to open and close uh, in order to go back and forth. Edicts, simply click on here. If you have more than 10 edicts, uh, use the up and down uh, arrows on the side. Um, tool tips over here to go into the edict, simply left click and it will take you to the edict creation system. Um, to get out of any pop-up, always hit the right mouse button. It will take you out without making any changes. All right. To talk to a character directly, there's a couple of different options. Um, you can click directly onto their name on any screen. Uh, you'll see their tooltip and you left click onto the yellow text and it will open up the uh, personnel access station system. Um, essentially, uh, these are your interactions. These are the buttons that you use to speak to the character. Uh, these colors here represent the different types. Uh, the light blue are personal interaction. The green are economic requests, and red is uh, uh, basically negative actions, and black are intel actions. Also, uh, when you see a little square on these buttons, uh, red means it will be considered a tyrannical action, 
Uh, blue means it will be considered a uh, nationalist action. That was the color before we changed it to green. Uh, sorry for the confusion. And if there's a number in here, it means it will cost that amount of either nationalist or tyrannical influence in order for that action to occur. Um, if you do not have the amount, that amount, you will not even see the option. All right, uh, this is the, the character's information. Uh, you have to spend a certain amount of time or have a certain amount of intel to see their statistics. If you have not, you, won't, you will see a question mark. This is their intel level. The higher it is, the more information you'll have. Uh, this is their popular support rating among their people. Uh, you will only find that out if you have intel on them and by assigning intel. Any observed traits that the character has will be shown here. Uh, this is their size stream. So uh, if you get to know a character better, eventually you'll start to be able to read their minds and thoughts. Um, and then you'll see their thoughts here. Uh, you'll also be able to see their continuum rating if, you have, if you're able to see their thoughts. Uh, this is your personal treasury. It's handy to have here so that if things cost money, uh, you'll know how much money you have. This is the character's alliance status. Currently, you'll be able to see whether they are publicly allied to you, unknown, neutral, or actively opposed. Uh, this is the character's chain of command. Uh, you'll be able to go directly to their chain of command. This is the character, of course. Uh, this is the character's immediate superior, and this is their top-level superior. This here will be actually be the uh, domestic prime. They'll always be the top-level superior for every character in the game um, that is domestic. These are your diplomacy pools. Uh, this is how much uh, uh, of pooled pressure and persuasion has been put onto that character from above. Uh, and this is their fatigue. If they're the ones doing the uh, pressuring or persuading, this shows how much fatigue they've accumulated. All right, to get out of here without doing anything, again, simply hit right mouse button. All right, so that pretty much covers the astrographic part. Uh, to go back to the galactic mode, uh, you can simply click on the bar, and it will take you always back to the um, uh, quadrant screen or the galaxy screen. All right, this is your intel mode here uh, with a little eye on it. You left click to go into it. Uh, there are two main modes. This shows your planetary database mode. <clears throat> this shows the planets. Now there are a few hotkeys that allow you to sort. Uh, to sort by population, you hit P. To sort by bio rating, you hit B, as in boy. Uh, to sort by strategic rating, you hit S. And to sort by cash flow, you hit C. And it goes high to low. I'm sorry, low to high. Um, this is the second page. It shows you a little bit more information about each planet. Uh, including whether or not the Intel network is expanding. It shows you the orbitals. This is Starbase, Exploration Station level, and Logistical Station level. Uh, this shows any alerts on the planet, whether they're short of uh, food or materials. Uh, if the number is green, it means they have a surplus. If it's in yellow or red, it means they have a deficit. All right, to go to the character screen, click on the character button. This shows you all your different characters in the game. Uh, you can use the uh, mouse scroll, the scroll uh, um, the, the scroll wheel to go up or down uh, but of course hover over it similar to anything else you'll be able to hover and then go straight to that character if you click on here um, shows the uh, position location area of responsibility um, their intelligence charisma loyalty willpower ambition greed power and popular support you'll always see a character's power it represents essentially how much power they have within the, the the galaxy and then the other ones will be displayed as their intel level increases, as we explained earlier. Popular support can only be shown if there is active intel assets on the, like an informer. Uh, and it shows also the three most important traits of a character. Uh, to go directly to a character again, you simply left click and right click to get out. Same thing for planets. To go straight to a planet, you can left click and it will take you to that command nexus. Um, so, and again, to go back to the main screen, just left click on the eye and it will take you to the planetary database mode. All right. The, this is the Imperial Nexus. This has information about you as the Emperor. Uh, this shows your name and your age and your nickname. Your nickname is derived by several factors, including your age and, and whether you're tyrannical or nationalist. This is your personal record. shows your different traits. Uh, this is your treasury, how much you have uh, currently in your treasury. This shows your political allies, uh, the different characters that make up your power and contribute to your uh, power rating. And this shows your political enemies. Uh, this, of course, is you. And this shows where you stand. It's a little bit easier to read on the continuum bar. All right. And this here, finally, is your next turn button. All right. That is a pretty uh, basic part of the interface. Um, oh, one last thing. This is your alert bar. Right now, there are no alerts. But if you have alerts, they will pulse. The number will pulse in green. Uh, you'll see the alerts here. To go straight to an alert, click on left mouse button. And it will open up the larger detail screen from which you'll be able to act on that particular alert or message. 
All right, guys, hopefully that's helped a little bit. I'm going to be posting a few more tutorial videos in the next uh, day or so. Uh, one's going to be going over edicts. One's going to be going over uh, more character in-depth. Uh, one is going to be going over planetary management. And the last one is going to be going over intel and the military system. Thank you guys for playing. Uh, thanks. If you haven't joined the channel, would like to continue to follow Imperia, you can simply follow my channel. That's Steve Hawkins. Thank you very much. Have a great morning.